Hey Facebook friends, for the next few weeks I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite stories of the Hindu mythology and this is a little bit of a taste of what I'll be offering in my Divine Inspiration retreat that I'm leading with Laura Martini in Bali in the end of October. So for this month I'm going to be sharing stories about Ganesh and Ganesh if you don't know, he's the elephant-headed god who is known as the remover of obstacles. And he's always the one that you begin with because he stands at the threshold at new beginnings. So Ganesh, he is the elephant-headed god who has the belly of an, a little boy and he's got this pot belly, which really is proof of his love of sweets. And one evening he's attending a dinner party with all of his devotees and they're offering him platters and dessert trays of these sweets which are called modica. And he's eating all of them and he's getting so full and finally decides to go home. So he mounts his mouse, he rides a mouse, his mouse's name is Musica, and he gets on his mouse and they go home. And on their way home a snake slithers across their path and it terrifies the mouse and the mouse rears up on his hind legs and Ganesh falls off on the ground. His belly bursts open and the modica scatters all over the place. So Ganesh is, is gathering up all of these sweets and he's putting them back in his belly and he takes the snake and he wraps it around his waist and creates like a belt. So while all of this hap is happening, Chandra, who is the, the lunar god, the god of the moon, He's up in the sky and he's laughing uncontrollably at Ganesh's antics. And Ganesh sees this and he is mortified. He's embarrassed and he's offended. And he takes his broken tusk, which is for another story, and he hurls it at the moon. And the moon, the moon shatters into 16 pieces. So there's different variations of all these stories. And one version says that without the light of the moon, the, the world fell into total darkness. And another version says that without the moon there was no night and the sun just shined all the time and the world became uncontrollably and unbearably hot. Either way, it was not good. So Chandra, the god of the moon, he went to Ganesh and he begged for his forgiveness and he pleaded and he said, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have laughed at you. We should all have the dignity of, of what we love, of our preferences. And Ganesh thought about it and he finally agreed to allow the moon to wax and wane and he only needed to be invisible one night of the month. And this is really where we get the 16 phases of the moon and tomorrow is a full moon so I thought it would be uh, relevant to share this story. And these stories, I love them because they're, they're so rich with meaning and there's so many different ways to interpret them. And one of the ways that we can interpret this is that you know, the, the modica, the sweet things, is really representative of whatever it is that you love so deeply. And we all want to have the dignity of our preferences. And we don't all love the same things. And so we should also allow other people to love what they love and for us to delight in our own preferences. And really, this is a bigger story and a bigger uh, representation of the tantric yoga philosophy of, and the teaching of concealment and revelation. And what this means is that the fullness of ourselves, just like the fullness of the moon, we, we are not always, we can't always see it. Often it's concealed, it's hidden from our sight. And, and the sweetness of life, we don't always experience it. Sometimes life is bitter and it doesn't taste so good and we are grumpy. And we need those times of, of contraction and of the times that we don't feel so good because that's precisely what what inspires and motivates us to seek more sweetness and fullness and to make things better. And it's, it's actually in the, the effort that we, we need to put forth to get out of those dark places and to go into the light. That's really why we need to go into these periods of darkness and lightness. So this is the, the moon is really that representation. The moon is always there whether we see it or not. And just like the fullness of us and the sweetness of life is, is always present, even if we can't necessarily taste it. So I hope you enjoy this story and stay tuned for next week. Um, uh, I'll share another Ganesh story that I love a lot. And if you want more information about the retreat, please click on the link or you can feel free to message me. We're offering an early bird special for the month of May only. And we're offering $100 off 
plus a one-on-one -on -one private yoga or coaching session with either myself or Laura. So be sure if you want to come, register now. Don't wait so that you can get the early bird bonus.